you mentioned <laughs> hey Danny Danny you mentioned that uh, your father said to create your own personality because you're a little quieter he's you know, he's got the uh, louder personality so to speak but since you've been at 147 you seem to joke around and you seem a little more alive is it because you were making having a hard time making weight at 140 yeah, you know I just I wasn't happy <laughs> I wasn't happy that's just it like who's happy after losing like 20 pounds right. you know what I mean it's like the week of the fight, you're doing interviews, you, just the last thing you want, least thing you want to do is do interviews and talk and see other people drink water. It's like, <laughs> it's like I don't want to be around that. <laughs> from, the, from the marketing and um, promotional standpoint, you're not as um, outspoken or extroverted as your father. Yeah. How do you feel that um, him, like being more so the mouthpiece for you, how do you feel that that's helped your career? I feel it's good. Um, maybe I would be, but he said everything you need to say, and I don't need to say nothing. <laughs> so he said everything, and then I just come out there, you know, thank you guys for coming out. See you Saturday night. I put the hard work in, you feel me? That's basically it. But, I mean, it's good. It's, it's what rattles the, uh, that's what people want to see anyway. I mean, you know, people will talk good about it, but people like drama. That's yeah. the life we're living right now. That's the era we're living with. Like, everything's an Instagram meme, so. Right. Yeah, so looking at um, you know the different um reactions on social media, it seems as though I'm not gonna say it seems as though it is that you get a lot of heat because of your pop, you know. So like I've, I've noticed that um people look at you as a good boxer. <laughs> they look at you as a good boxer. Yeah, they look at you as a good boxer, but then they listen to him and they be like, oh, well, you know, we want Danny to lose. Yeah, like, how do you feel about that? No, it is what it is, man. Um, a lot of people want me to win, believe it or not. A lot of people want me to lose. I think that's for every, every, everybody. Maybe I might take a little more heat than other people, but it is what it is. At least I'm getting attention, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of fighters wish they had attention. A lot of fighters wish they were getting, um, you know, followers or comments some fighters ain't got none um barely you know what i mean so I, i'm blessed man i feel good it is what it is pop's been talking shit for like six years already so i'm used to it <laughs> i'm pretty sure y'all used to it angel what makes your son so much better than keith thurman resume not only the resume daddy's a great fighter man i don't know if you wouldn't see it bro it's it's like, i love in god's time bro what happens is when you work in god's time Everything for us was never, like I said earlier, we never picked and scrapped but every time they gave me somebody, I, if you look at Danny's resume, I fought a guy, I always say this story, but it's hard to believe this story, people might look at me, I mean, that's one thing I will never do, lie to nobody. When we was in that two pound, uh, Oscar de Ahoya and two pound Stevie, Danny was fighting on the undercar in, Ch in California on the Home Depot Center. Danny had a guy who was six and four, a Mexican kid. Danny was five and old. They came to me an hour before the fight, Shelly. But Shelly, we didn't start with Haim. Mm -hmm. We started with Shelly. That's why I, I say Shelly. And no joke, bro. You yeah. stay. If she, you go through your career with Shelly, you better fight your ass off for peanuts. Mm -hmm. Okay? Elephant peanuts at this. Okay? So they came to us. To, to an hour before the fight, said, the guy you find, he's out. I said, okay. Uh, Robert Diaz. Ask Robert Diaz. He's the go to go match. Yeah. Or ever go, ever go, ask them if you ever turn anybody down. Anybody, first name. When Matisse said, jump in a little bit. When Matisse said, they gave me five names. Who you five? I said, who's the killer? He said, this kid is the guy. I said, bring the killer. That's what we want. See, that was, that was meant to be. But when you do like him, Thurman, calling people, that's not destiny. This destiny for us because we never call. That's this, this, this is meant to be right now. See, he, he wanted it, so he predicted it. So that's not destiny. See, I'm superstitious, I believe in God, so that's the difference between there and us. We took that fire out before in California, 28, 18 KO, 11 losses, Southpaw. And then he went out there, we took him, I went upstairs and said, champ, well he was in the champ at that, but he was the champ. Right, right. Was I true. said, Danny, change the plan. He said, Dad, well, I said, he was taking a nap. I said, you ain't fighting the kid no more, six and four. This is the guy they got for you, 28 winning, eight, 11, eight, 18 KO, 11 losses. Side Paul. He said, Dad, let's do it. Danny went out there and beat the shish kebabs out this guy. How would you tell him? You can't beat a guy like this, but that's an opponent. His record's crazy, yes, of K5 and 0. He went and beat the macaroons up. We're going to talk about you. You're going to stay if you want to get Keith right here. We're going to switch the fighters. Thank you, Angel. Thank you.